So today, Shokyo made a video talking about Pandora's Tower and how he was playing it on the Dolphin. Now, for those who don't know, the Dolphin is actually the Wii emulator for the PC. It allows you to go ahead and play Wii games on your PC. Not only that, though, but it does bring the games to a higher resolution and to a, you know, and adds kind of next-gen filters, if you will. So, a lot of you may have gone to thinking, well, that sounds good if I can play with my Wiimote. Well, you can, and I'm going to show you step-by-step, step. it's very easy, by the way, how to go ahead and sync your Wiimote with your PC. Now, in order to go ahead and play it on there. Now, it's actually pretty simple here. First and foremost, you want to go ahead and if you, um, if your PC is not, um, has a built-in Bluetooth um, compatibility, you know, you're going to go ahead and pick up a USB dongle, if you will. Basically, a, P a USB device that actually allows you to sync um, Bluetooth to your actual PC. So once you get that, what you're going to do is, first of all, install it, install the drivers that's needed, and then go ahead and launch it. Now, depending on how your system is, it's going to launch multiple ways here. But the way you want to launch it, is, um, the way I'm going to launch it is via the um, built-in Windows 7 Bluetooth um, connector here. So what you're going to do is this. First of all, take your Wiimote. And if you take off the battery, and if you take off the battery, you'll notice that there's a sync button right here. No, seriously, it's actually labeled sync. Now, um, it's usually red. However, I do have others where it's white and things of that nature. It all depends on what color your Wiimote is, is what color the button is. It's usually on the bottom right-hand side. You're going to want to go ahead over here and click on Add Device. After you add device, click the sync button just once. Almost as soon as you click it, it will go ahead and show up. Click on it, and then click on Next. Now, it'll say connect the device. It'll ask you um, a pairing option. You can go ahead and pair without using a code. So what I'll do is it'll go ahead and through there, and if you look at the bottom right-hand side, by now it's saying install device um, software, and it does take a little bit for the software to go ahead and install. As you see right there in the center, it has already um, confirmed that this has already been set up, and there you go. So now I can close it, and as you see, I got two connected now. So I'm just going to minimize this for now, and I'm going to go ahead and open my... Um, open the emulator here. So what I can do now is I can go ahead to where it says Wiimote. Now that it says Wiimote over here, what you want to do is right here where it's, um, rather, let me start from the beginning here. When you open up here, you want to click on Wiimote right here. When you click on Wiimote, it'll say Wiimote 1, Wiimote 2, etc, etc. What you want to do is this. You want to take it and um, click on, make sure it's clicked on Wii, uh, Real Wiimote, okay? That's kind of a tongue twister there. After that, you want to click on Pair and then click on Sync again. So Pair, Sync. It does take a while to go ahead and sync, not too long, but long enough. And you want to keep an eye on your actual Wiimote. Uh, your Wiimote will be flashing four or three, um, three things, and then it'll go ahead and vibrate for a second, and there you go. If you notice right there, it'll say one connected. Now, at any point in time, I can go ahead and connect this one, um, which is my Wii Motion Plus. This is a regular Wiimote. This is a Wii Motion Plus. Yes, I know it is pink. Get over it. Uh, it's the only one they had in stock. But nonetheless, I can sync this one up too if I wanted to. And then there you go with the same exact reason uh, reasoning. Go ahead, hook, make this hook this up via the PC. After this, click on um, Wiimote 2, click on Real Emulator. I'm mean, just rather Real Wiimote. And then after that, go ahead and hook this up. It is that simple. After that, click OK. And after you're done with that, all you have to do is just activate the game.